Good afternoon. Saturday afternoon today. It's been pretty busy so far this morning. Started out my day 6.30 this morning. Went to go pick up Dad from Mac. He dropped off the, the semi to get the air conditioning on that truck fixed before the real summer heat sets in. And then he was taking out some deliveries. Our, our new truck driver is taking out some deliveries as well. And the new flatbed that we had finished up there, or dad had finished up anyway, he did 99% of the work on that thing. Uh, I've been busy out here trying to keep up with some breakdowns that we've had. Um, this morning, dad and I, we made a home homemade snap ring that'll hopefully hold together on that rotor tiller. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I've showed you guys that rotor tiller, what went on just yet. So I'm gonna show you guys. All right, I'm gonna show you guys. Hopefully you can hear me with the wind. I apologize, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. It's like 60, 60 kilometer an hour gust today. So I'm gonna show you guys what we're dealing with. So I originally thought this clutch pack right here, I thought that was loose. So I took it off, inspected it, and it turns out the shaft coming out the front here, it moved in and out, so it was loose. So I popped the top off. And sure enough, it's all contaminated. And so that has to be drained down. All right, so what we got going on here is we have our main drive gear from our PTO. And this is our uh, drive for the tiller. So with these two here, this is the shaft that was loose. So I'm gonna pull this gear off. Yeah, the oil's all contaminated there. I'm gonna set you up here. So there's supposed to be a snap ring right in here. Hopefully you guys can see it. I can't tell if you can or not, but there's supposed to be a snap ring. There's a groove in here and it's a rather large snap ring. It's about four, four inch, I believe. So I'll pull this one off. Put you up here. So if you can see it, there's the snap ring right here where my finger is. So it's a fairly big, hefty snap ring. So what had happened, the snap ring on this side shattered all the way around. There was just one little piece holding it in. So I took a, a punch, tapped it back in, and that loosened up what was left of the snap ring. It all fell in here. I already dug all the snap ring pieces out of here. So now we're gonna take our crude homemade snap ring hopefully that's gonna work until a new one comes in because getting a four inch snap ring getting a four inch snap ring is a lot more difficult than you would think they're not very common so we me and dad quickly cut this out and made one so I'm hoping it fits it looks like it's gonna be fairly close but basically it's just a retaining it's a retaining ring just to keep this bearing in place so the shaft doesn't come loose and we don't uh, mess up the bearing. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's gonna fit in there. I'm gonna drain all this oil out, get rid of it into the tote I have for used oil. So I got it in there, it fits, and it's decently tight. And I got enough space so that when the new one comes in, I can squish it down and try to pry it out of there. If not, it will be a permanent fixture until it breaks like the other one. But hey, it's gonna work. It'll hold, hold the gear in tight. Now I just have to drain out all the old crappy oil. All right, got it all in, got the gear in now. Clean oil, filled up the gearbox. I flushed it out the best I could. Probably gonna have to run it for a little bit and then flush it out again and clean it. But I think it's gonna work for now. So I'll put the cover back on, put the lid back on, put that clutch assembly back on too, and then it's ready to go. Reverse thread on this nut a little bit. There we go. All right, 
Tiller's fixed. Ready to go. Good afternoon. Got another day out on the farm. Uh, as usual, Pierre's trimming. And Mel was attempting to rotor till and she's actually she got stuck. Yeah, it's pretty soft back here. You can see the tracks behind me. It was soft in here when I sprayed, and that was before it rained, so. Oh yeah, I'm sinking pretty good here now. Check the tracks out behind me. I'm actually surprised she made it this far. <laughs> Taylor did a really good job though. Yank them, just chains. set of rec specs <sighs> because it's been so dry and dusty here he has a set of earmuffs too for when he rides in the tractors that are a little bit louder and he spends all day outside in the sun and just like people it's probably not good for their eyes so all right so obviously I got Mel out uh, she's She's finished up for today. The rotor tiller, after I put the cover back on, I didn't have any silicone on me. And I thought if I just tightened it up, that it might not leak. Well, that was kind of dumb. So, 
dad's bringing silicone when he comes out to get the load of sod later this evening but for now I'm gonna get the harvester ready to go because we had a hectic week had a hectic week last week and I didn't get a chance to sharpen the harvester blade and I also didn't get a chance to grease it and yesterday yesterday I had uh, a transmission line oil cooler line uh, have a pin that had a pinhole in it and started leaking transmission fluid thankfully I was only a couple miles from the farm I got it patched up enough that I could get here and ended up leaving my truck here overnight so instead of getting here early yesterday I ended up getting here a half hour later and Pierre and Melissa had started harvesting already but not a big deal I'm gonna get a chance to do it today before we get started it's just it's starting to cool off nice now We'll get that done and then we'll get started harvesting. We got the harvesting done and I was making my way home and that transmission cooler line popped again. Uh, dropped all the oil out of the transmission this time though. So I can't move. Melissa's gone up to a gas station up ahead. Hopefully they're still open because it's 10 to midnight. Worst case scenario, I got a leave the truck on the side of the road which I really do not want to do because anytime I've seen a truck sitting on the side of the road that's left overnight on 59 highway the windows are smashed out of it by morning and I got so much stuff in my truck and my phone's dead so I'm waiting for my phone to charge and it's just just turned on Eli's sitting in the truck waiting to Turn back on. Yeah, 
10 to 12. But at least I got the line fixed. I brought the line and everything. I should have changed the line over when I was at the farm earlier. I should have just, instead of thinking it was going to be okay, I should have just changed it over. So Melissa's towing me back to the farm with her car. We've got the mighty Hyundai Tucson pulling my Ram 3500. All right, we made it back to the farm. Melissa's little car pulled me all the way. I don't know how many miles. Is still awake? He's still awake. He slept most of the way here on the way back. All right. Well, I'm going to call her quits now this time for sure. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. God bless.